Good morning. How are you this morning? How's your spirit? How well are you maintaining your vessel this morning? This this body, this mind that God gave us. How are we doing? Is it a good day? Is it a day where we're down? Is it a day where we're not very successful? Um, maybe you started out really good this morning, but then work it. Or the fact that you're still having to sit at home. Hit. How many of us struggle with some sin, and in that struggle, we get defeated because we can't seem to, to lick it. We can't seem to get a, get a final end to it where we can say, I have solved this problem. I'm free from this sin. And in doing so, we beat ourselves up. I am so pitiful. I'm terrible. I, uh, I shouldn't be doing anything. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do that because I am just, I keep messing up. I just keep doing the same thing over and over. I got some good news for you. And it's found in Psalm 103, <clears throat> a Psalm of David. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he hath removed our transgressions from us, like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Is that not fantastic? And we don't have time in a, in a short devotion to try to take apart every single piece of it, but look at what he said. Just glance at the things. Don't forget his benefits. Just bless the Lord. Because he has loving kindness that he pours on us, tender mercies. He heals us. He forgives us of our iniquities. He, he gives our mouth satisfying good things so that our youth, our strength is renewed like the eagles. And even though he is the righteous judge, he stands for all those who are oppressed. Who are, oppressed. are you oppressed with sin today? You know, Satan cannot possess you once you've trusted Christ as Savior, but he can oppress you if we allow sin sin to reign in our lives. And, and he says he, he made his ways known to Moses and unto the children of Israel. He is merciful. He's gracious. He's slow to anger. He's plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide. He won't always um, uh, 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 battle with us. He won't. He tries to correct us, but he, he won't keep anger forever. So even if we've done something that, that has caused displeasure and the Lord is trying to correct us, he won't be angry forever. If we'll just correct, things will be great. He says he's not dealt with us after our sins. Isn't that fantastic? If he was to deal with us after our sins, we'd all be bound for hell. But if we trust Christ as our Savior, he's removed that. And so he deals with us as children, as his sons and daughters, the same way we do with our children. We don't disown them just because they're disobedient. We may have to discipline them. We may have to punish them, but we don't just disown them. We don't cast them aside. And the Lord says he's, he's like a father. And it, no doubt at some point somebody will say at this point, yeah, but you just don't understand how pitiful I am with this sin or these series of sins or these types of things. It doesn't matter what you plug in for this sin. It doesn't matter how bad or vile you think it is. It doesn't matter how hard you struggle with it. It doesn't matter any of those things. Before you let that, before you listen to this and then go, yeah, but, but I'm in a different place. You know, the 103 doesn't end right there. In verse 14, he says, For he, God, knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. 
As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, to those who remember his commandments to do them. Do you love the Lord? Do you belong to him? Have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Did you ever come to Jesus and say, I am a sinner, I know I'm a sinner, I've done nothing to earn heaven, and I know that you, Jesus, died on the cross for my sin, and I ask you to forgive me my sin, I put my trust in you. Have you ever done that? Then you belong to the Lord, and you are a son or a daughter, and his mercies are from everlasting to everlasting on those that fear him, those that belong to him. So just take that for what God said. He knows who we are. He remembers we're human. He remembers that we are but dust, and our time here is short. And like the flower of the grass, it flowers up, it blooms, the wind blows over, and it's gone, and you forget that it's there because you got to keep mowing the grass. He says, but I don't forget. God says his mercies are from everlasting to everlasting, and he understands who we are. The reason he doesn't destroy us is because he knows who we are. He knows what we are, and he loves us. And we can finish out the same way David did in verse 19. The Lord hath prepared his throne in, in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. How about we just pause today and bless the Lord? How about we just say thank you and take joy in the fact that this creator, this righteous judge loves us, cares for us, shows mercy on us, cast our sins as far as the east is from the west, and he ministers to us, remembering all the while that we are but humans, fin uh, finite sinful, struggling, fleshly humans, and yet he pours out his love. Oh God, you are so magnificent and so amazing that you, the righteous king, would love us in the way that you do, that you would show mercy to us that is from everlasting to everlasting, that never fails, that you would minister to us when we are oppressed, and that you would bolster our hearts when we rejoice, that you would weep with us when we weep and, and celebrate with us when we celebrate. What an amazing God you are. And we love you, and we are grateful, we praise your name, and we exalt your majesty, and we honor you as our king, as our father, as our God, as our righteous ruler, as our mercy giver, as our protection, as our healer, as our savior, our buckler, our shield. Oh God, we could go on for hour after hour after hour praising your name and talking about all of your greatness and your goodness and your mercies and everything about you. Father, help us to remember this is who we belong to, you, and not let Satan defeat us. And when we get caught in sin, help us to remember your loving kindness and your forgiveness, and that your anger doesn't last forever, and that if we just simply say, God, I'm sorry, forgive me, you will do so. You promised in 1 John, if we will admit, if we will confess, agree with you regarding our sin, then you will be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh God, help us not be defeated by Satan. Help us not be defeated by the sins that we struggle with, but understand our place in your kingdom and your rule and your love for us. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate. Enjoy the Lord. Don't use that as an excuse to live in sin. But remember when you do, our God 
is an awesome God. To phrase the song, holy God, a merciful God. Enjoy your day.